Road crews in West Michigan continue to plow the snow left behind from this past weekend system. But as Fox 17's Marisa Oberly found out, it's sometimes not the only thing they push out of the way. She explains what to do if a truck damages your property. Local road commissions say despite their best efforts, crews occasionally do hit mailboxes in cars or even rip up grass. Most communities do offer to replace or pay for that damage, though, but it depends on the circumstances. Jorgen Noah found himself outside a lot this past weekend. Uh, this has been probably my fourth time. Like others across West Michigan, the Grand Rapids father of four braved the elements on numerous occasions to clear the snow from his driveway and sidewalk. Yeah, the first couple were not so bad, um, but uh, this morning it was quite surprising how much we actually did get overnight. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's been accumulating. And while it may be a hassle, Jorgen finds himself grateful that his family does not face any bigger issues related to snow removal, specifically property damage caused by plows. It does happen. Jerry Byrne Is leads the Kent County Road Commission to... and admits every winter his drivers and those who work for other area departments unintentionally hit things like mailboxes and cars or even rip up grass as they try to clean the streets. Byrne says upwards of 400 homeowners file claims with KCRC each year to get the damage repaired, but he estimates that happens in just roughly 25% of cases. If we struck your mailbox with the plow or the vehicle, we're going to fix it. If the weight of the snow did it, that's your responsibility to fix it. That's because the agency only steps in when it can definitively prove a KCRC truck and not the elements caused the incident. We can see green paint. We can see paint out where we physically struck it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you can just look and see that the snow still is two foot away from the mailbox. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we weren't even close enough to the mailbox to strike it with our vehicle. It's a similar policy for other road commissions in West Michigan, including the city of Grand Rapids in Kalamazoo, Muskegon, Ottawa, Van Buren, and Nuego counties. People can often submit a claim online, but Byrne encourages them to take steps that can be done before it gets to that, like parking their cars in the driveway, using poles to mark property lines, and installing sturdy metal mailboxes. Jorgen agrees. Just stay safe. And to read those policies in full mentioned in our story, you can head on over to our website at fox17online.com. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.